Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So a week ago, I designed an animated poster of a movie Dune and lots of you guys asked me to put out a tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how I made this poster. Let's go. So to design motion posters, at first we need to create all the headers, the descriptions, the texts uh, because in later after we import our videos uh, and because Photoshop actually is not for video editing and we are going to put out some effects on the video uh, it's gonna take lots of time so at first we have to just you know we have to figure out where our headers, where our text, where our uh, video and all the other images that we are going to use is gonna be. So that's why we should just create the headers and everything first. So I'm not gonna make it too long, I'm just gonna create some quick posters for you guys. So this is what we do. text here like that and uh, I'm just gonna create this okay so imagine we're going to have something like this I'm not gonna write anything here so basically something like this so for the placeholders, I'm gonna create a re rectangle here. Something like this. And just gonna put it in the middle. Also, I wanna put these things below, so it will be something like this one. So I'm just gonna change the color of it. So at the bottom, just put up the ruler so that I know all aligned. Yeah, that's amazing. So at the bottom, I'm, I'm gonna create, I wanna have three different photos. So I'm just gonna lower the heights here. And on the top, uh, on the right side, we have the width and height of this rectangle. I'm just gonna divide it by three. So it is divided, so now, as you can see, there will be three equals rectangles, but I wanna have a little bit of a space between them, so I'm just gonna create like something like that. Yeah. Exactly, so this is cool. I'm just gonna lower the height again, like that. And I'm going to add my photos first, so. This is one of the photos that I'm going to use. I'm going to place them here and put it in the middle. So, this is the layer, the rectangle copy two that I have. This is the layer. So, I'm just going to put my uh, image on top of it, right click on it, and Create a clipping mask. Instead of that, you can also hold Alt or Option here between the two layers, and you can see when I hold Alt or Option, it will bring me that uh, icon that I can, you know, deselect or select them as a clipping mask. So I'm just gonna put it there and for other ones as well. So another thing I would love to do to make it even better is that I create, I, I, I select these rectangles. So let me just, yeah. So I, I will select these rectangles. I will go to the filter, distort, and displace. It will say you have to convert it to the smart object that I will, and 
you can just set a number here i will set five for each and i will go to one of my assets and i will select one of them as you can see one of the textures that i have and it will displace it like the the texture that i saved as a psd so basically what uh what that do is that let me just explain it one more time what that does is that uh, when you go to the filter distort displace and you will set a number so you set it higher it will displace it much more exaggerated so when you select your image mine is this and it has to be the psd file the photoshop file when you select that it will just give that displacement map of that texture that you have saved and also i'm gonna do it with this one filter displace and i will do it like that yeah that is amazing so as you can see it gives me a little bit of grungy effect uh, on the edges so for my text i would love to use one of my uh, actions that i mostly use this is an uh, instance this press you know this just you can download it from my telegram channel so i will just choose it and i will select the color that's it like it that way also for my text i'm gonna I'm not gonna use the actions, I'm gonna use the displace. So as you can see, it will just give cool effect here. So for each of these photos, I'm gonna do uh, uh, some other actions. I'm gonna run some other actions on them. So I have this Xerox Pro uh, Sharp Photocopy that also you can download these actions from my telegram channel for free uh, i'm gonna use the uh, photocopy medium grain here and just let's continue you will select it and from here you, you can you know change the smoothness of the photo and i'm gonna do something like this yeah, that is cool also as you can see my photo is here and the layer that the action created is above so i'm gonna delete the layer that i had here i'm gonna make this one visible and i'm just gonna mask it around again so i'm gonna do the same thing for the, all the others so that's it also for all of these rectangles I'm just gonna create a little bit of a stroke with a size 2 just to have a nice stroke around all of the edges all of them I'm just gonna add some stroke as you can see it will give you a nicer effect so that's it so now I'm just gonna do the last thing i'm just gonna bring it up like that i'm just gonna do the last effect that i'm going to do for this one as you can see it's a high-res photo i will do medium green again So the last part is importing the video and creating that motion poster that we want. So as I said at the first of the video, when you import the you import your video to the Photoshop, it will take lots of time to process and even for importing it, uh, you know, doing the changes, doing the old effects, and exporting, it's gonna take lots of times. So the best thing that you can do is to just prepare everything in your poster and, and 
the last thing you want to do is to just import your video do the effects and export that's all so let's get to it so here in my uh, in my layers as you can see I have lots of layers so these three different layers that I have I'm gonna just merge them together I will click here to here it, you know, holding shifts I will click and then I will just do command E to merge them together as you can see I, I will even merge this one the background also this uh, rectangle will remain as a video uh, placeholder and uh, also this is the distress type effect that my action did so I'm just gonna create this one to even the text here and I'm gonna just name it so we have basically three different layers now the image the text and the placeholder of our video so I just imported my video to my file it took a while as I told you because Photoshop is not for video editing but you're going to create something special here so when you have added your video you can just you know it's, it's not showing you a video, it's just gonna show you uh, a picture of the video. So I'm just gonna place it on my placeholder here and I'm gonna hold Alt again. And I'm just going to you know, make it fit properly in my placeholder like this after that you need to go to the windows and here you gotta check timeline so it will create this window for you and you should uh, tap on create video timeline it will make a timeline for you here and this is my video my video is this long it's about two or three seconds long and these are the templates and all the layers that we have created before and that's why I merged most of them because I didn't want to work with so many layers here so I'm just gonna shorten all of these layers so what you need to do is to just select your video that you, the, the video layer that you have imported then you need to go to filter and camera raw filter it will bring you to the video and as i told you it will just show you a frame of your video and in here what i would like to do is to increase the texture and the clarity so that i can see some of the details but i i don't want to lose you know as you can see here i don't want to lose the darkness here so I believe this is fine and I will just hit OK so that is good so after that I will have to go to filter and filter gallery so in filter gallery what you need to do is first you need to go to grain and create a grain here and if, if, if you see things like this you can just you know delete them from here so what you need to do is to just go to the grain and set a grain as you're liking I would like to use the 40% of intensity and 50 of contrast and I will always choose enlarged in my grain type and after that I have to come here and create a new effect layer so just uh, click on that plus button and as you can see it will create another grain rate layer that you can change so I'm just gonna hit on halftone pattern so on the halftone pattern I would like to give it a uh, size of one so if I you know bring up the size as you can see you can see the halftone pattern effect so I'm just gonna give it a one and the contrast of zero and I will hit okay 
so as you can see our camera raw filter that we increased the texture and the clarity is here and the filter gallery that we have added also is in our small filters so make sure that if you're working with this type of files you have to just always convert them to the small objects so that later we can just change all of these effects so the next step is to go to layer new adjustment layer and threshold and i'm gonna click ok so as you can see it will gives you this threshold effect but i need some of the details from the skin and then i you know drag it to the lights i have this uh, details but I'm gonna lose details on the shadow so I'm I just going to leave it in the middle something about here and on my video layer I'm just going to hold alt or option and I'm just gonna click and drag my camera raw filter so as you can see it will as you can see it will change the layer so this is the layer this is the effect sorry this is the effect that we have added uh, for giving our photo more clarity and textures so now on the threshold I'm gonna do this I can see it as you can see I can see lots of lots of details I'm just gonna do it one more time to see what the outcome will be that is amazing even one more time i believe that's unnecessary so this is good actually and for the final steps i'm just gonna give it a nice uh, texture that i got from the market so just gonna put it above the threshold and I'm just gonna put it on lighten also i'm just going to create a gradient map and let's see if i can have nice colors on it so i'm just gonna see the, which one is going to fit it well This one is nice, but I'm just gonna check other things. So for the export, you can do two options. First is going to files, export and render video. But I myself would like to go to export and save for the or legacy. And this way it will export the video as a GIF. I would like to have it as a GIF. So later I will just import it into my Premiere and do the changes to the videos if I would like to. So in the export windows, in the preset, I just leave it as it is. I'm just gonna choose GIF in the setting below. Selective, diffusion, colors must be 256, detail 100. Transparency not important, but if you if you don't wanna have the background, you can you should just always check that button and convert it to the sRGB should be selected and from here you can change the size of the image basically I would make it a lot smaller like uh, I don't know like 1080p maybe and uh, because it will makes the export process much more faster and after all of these things the quality must be on by cubic and put it on 100% and looping option must be on forever after that just click on save hope you like the video make sure to like and subscribe have a nice day and 